The purpose of this video is to show you how to download the Dahua smartphone app onto your um, Android or iPhone. It's a pretty straightforward process. There's basically three steps in it. The first step I'm going to cover now is downloading the app. So if you're using this uh, app on a Google um, Android device, what, what the app you'll be using is the one we see on the screen here. It's the GDMSS Plus. And if you're using it on the iPhone, it's simply the same one, except the G you're using an I. So it's IMSS Plus, okay? So what I'll do is, I've already downloaded it here from the Google uh, Store. And the next thing that happens is, so that's step one out of the way, download. Second step is set up an account. It'll just prompt you and drives you through it. It'll ask you what country are you in. Um, you press the home button, go to me, um, you choose login and then it gives you an option to sign up for a new account. You use your email address and create a password. It has to be eight characters long. It'll tell you on the screen um, and a mix of upper and lower case, a letter and a symbol. Okay. You get a verification code going to your email address and you use that then to verify that you are associated with that email address and then you have your account set up. Okay, so that's the first thing. So step one, download. Step two, set up account. And now we're on to step three, which is add device. So it's pretty straightforward what we need to do here. So we'll be on this preview screen here. We're seeing absolutely nothing here because of course we're not connected to a device. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna to go to the top left-hand corner and hit the home button. And we'll see here, gray it out on the bottom, there's an add device section here, okay? And what I'm gonna do at this point in time is I'm going to hit the plus button. And I'm gonna add it on by an SN code, okay? So I'm gonna choose SN code here. So a QR code scanner has come up. Now we're gonna go up to the main screen here and I'm gonna to go to main menu. And on this, I need to uh, come along and just go to the screen where the SN code is. And that is in the network section here. And we just come down to the P2P section. Now, before I do that, there's one setting I need to check in relation to the overall thing. And by default, we can see here, there's two settings that are set up here um, in the off mode. It's DHCP and DNS DHCP. And that's simply to say, by default, um, the, NV uh, the NVR or the the DVR will be set up so that you can access it if the smartphone and um, the device is on the same network. But of course, we want to be not just viewing it from the same network, we want to do it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come along and I'm gonna change this setting to on, and I do it here, and I'm going to apply it. That's great, and now I come to P2P. And we go in here and we'll see there's um, uh, the device uh, serial code. So I'm going to pick up the phone at this point here. It's still scanning away and it'll see it. And so we just need to move it up and back and just see it. It's picked it up there. So I'm just going to drop this. So it has the serial code that I'm picking up there now. It's completely unique to this uh, DVR. Okay. So I'm just going to press next here. And it's saying what type of device in. And in this case here, it happens to be a DVR. Um, so I'm going to come along and type on the DVR here. And it's saying there, and then it's saying um, the device name. So I'll just type in device name. So I'm, sh I'm shooting this video in our video room. Uh, so I'll just call it vid1, okay? And now it's going to ask me for the password device. And the password device, now wh where is this password device coming from? Well, when you set up your DVR for the first time, the Dehua, it's going to make you set up two types of passwords. The first thing is the little symbol where you pull down and draw an L or whatever like that so you can access it. And the other one is where you're forced to actually create a password. And we always use the same password uh, for our videos here. So I'll just type this directly in here now. Um, so, so you just see it appearing on the screen here. Um, so it's a mixture again of uh, uppercase initially, then uh, letters, and then a number, and then a symbol. Okay, and we do this because we're, it allows us to do it right across the range. And we're done there now. And I want to save that. So it comes along here, and all of a sudden, boom, the picture that we have over here um, we have a camera collected here. I'm just going to put my hand in front of it so you can see that's me indeed. So I can double click on this and we bring up the picture here on it, okay? So there's things we can do here now. We could pause the picture. Uh, if we wanted to do it, we can come along here and we could do change the resolution of the picture, okay? Um, I'll just get out of that for a minute. I'll just go back. 
um, there. So I'll just go and start live view again. Apologies, it's here. Uh, what we can do here is we have by default the speaker is turned off, but we can actually listen uh, to the microphone that's on the camera. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly. Hello, hello. hello, hello. Okay, so obviously we're getting a loop back there, but that's absolutely fantastic. We can go here and we can choose are we going to have a four, a nine, whatever camera thing. So we'll just go back to the four camera view if we want today. That'll work great. Okay, we can set up a favorites list here so we can have a whole pile of different who, uh, um, NVRs, DVRs all set up, all with names, all the rest of it here, right? If we wanted to come along then and there's something happening and we're saying, oh my goodness, there's a robbery in progress, something like that, I want to record it, I can come along and you start recording and okay, the guy's dead at this stage, so now we're happy, uh, we'll have the full photo of it. It drops to the screen here and there we have it. And then come along, the guy's looking at the camera and he'd like to turn himself in. And I just do a snapshot there like that. Um, so there's things there. If we had an actual speaker on it here, what we could do is we could actually talk in. Now, this won't work for us because I don't have a speaker enabled. But if I did, I could speak into it there. I could hear somebody and talk. You could actually have two-way communication on it. And if I was controlling a PTZ, we could actually just tap in here and we could come along and we'd be able to do um, some control on it. I think it's actually this one here on it. But anyway... Hopefully it's given you a good idea in terms of the overall thing there. Yeah, you see the arrows right and left and all the rest of it. So you can see a few things from this video. Number one, it's an absolutely fantastically easy app to install. Number two, the setup process is simple. It's all P2P, so you're not using any port forwarding, no static IP addresses, you don't need any of that nonsense. And then what your flexibility inside it, what you can do with it, is absolutely brilliant because, you know, yeah, we've shot loads of videos over the years for different apps and all the rest of it. None of them are any simpler or better than this. The features on them are brilliant and it's exactly what you'd expect from the Hua. A great app to go with great products.